Hi, I'm Svenja, and welcome to Rhythm 2. I hope you watched Rhythm Video 1, where we learned about whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. Remember that we practice these rhythms with words do, two, three, four for the whole notes, do, two for half notes, do for quarter notes, and do, day for two eighth notes. You can see that I moved to the rhythm, and I encourage you to do the same. It really helps you feel the rhythm in your body. Now, on to more rhythms. Wow, these are some strange looking ones. Let's start with this group of four notes. It looks like doubled up eighth notes, and that's what it is. They are called sixteenth notes and are twice as fast as eighth notes. Let's practice saying them. Do ta de ta do ta de ta do ta de ta one two three four one two three four. So you can see that four of these sixteenth notes fit into one of our beat notes, our do notes, or quarter notes. Let's try a rhythm together. Do do de do ta de ta do de do ta de ta do de do. Now let's move on to tied notes. These are notes that are on the same position on the staff, linked by a curved line called a tie. This means that we say or play the first note and then continue to hold it for the length of the second note. Sounds kind of complicated. Let me show you how it works with another example. Do, do, do. Do day do day do do ta day ta day do two. It's kind of tricky, but these kind of rhythms are worth learning. Listen to the last rhythm again. Ba 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 ba. Really fun. And remember, you can always pause the video, go back, and try again. By the way, often you will see a curved line over several notes that are in different positions on the staff. That is not a tie, but a slur, and I will explain that in a later video. Here we have notes that have a dot behind them. They are called dotted notes. The dot makes them one and a half times longer than the note. So here we have a dotted quarter note, and we have to add half a quarter note to its length. To its length, that means we have to add an eighth note. We could think of it as tying an eighth note to the quarter note, like this. Or here, we have a dotted half note. Here we have to add a quarter note because a quarter note is half as long as a half note. Time to do it together again with an example. Do, two, three, do, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, two, three, do. Here is one more rhythm that I want you to learn. These notes are called triplets. Tri or tri is another word for three, like in triangle. So we squeeze three notes into one quarter note instead of just two with eighth notes. We say do da di do da di one two three one two three do da di do da di. 
ready for another rhythm example. Do, 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 da, di, do, do, da, di, do, do, da, di, do. Now look at what we've already learned. So one more important thing that we need to learn are rests. Rests tell you when to sing or play nothing. You might wonder why that is important. Well, just like with speaking, if you don't add pauses, it sounds very strange. If I would talk without a pause, it would sound very weird and would be like a run-on sentence that would get you into trouble when writing. Doesn't that sound bad? So we need pauses in music, and they are called rests. Here they are. The best way to understand them is by comparing them to the length of notes. The whole rest is a short bar hanging from the second line. The half rest is a short bar lying on the third line. The quarter rest is kind of complicated. It sits mostly in the two middle spaces of the staff. The eighth rest has one little dot just like the eighth note has one flag, and it fills the two middle spaces. The sixteenth rest has two little dots, like the two flags of the sixteenth note, and it fills the bottom three spaces. Phew! <coughs> we covered a lot of ground. Time for our last two examples. When you see the rhythm words in parentheses, under the rests, you can just whisper them, like I just did with the tied notes or the dotted notes. So let's go. Do, 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 day, do, two, three, four. Do, ta, day, do, do, two. All right. Are you ready? For the grand finale, do you know what that means? Grand means great and finale means end. So the great end. So we're going to do one rhythm together and that's going to be quite tricky. Let's try it. Do, do, day, do, 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 da, di, do, do, da, di, do, do, day, do, ta, day, ta, do, day, do. Do two, do two, three, four. All right. This is not easy, but remember, you can always do it again. Watch the video again as often as you like. Last but not least, keep practicing rhythm with our fun online games and quizzes. And until next time, always be musical. Hey, hey.